2024 Toyota Crown Expert Review. As with its Prius hatchback and Venza SUV, Toyota adapts a hybrid-only approach with the Crown sedan. The model is the brand's second oldest, behind the Corolla. But in the U.S., there was a 50-year gap between when it was last sold here and the current iteration. As it was reintroduced for 2023, we expect few changes for the 2024 model year. The 2024 Toyota Crown competes with the Volkswagen Arteon and Honda Accord Hybrid. What's new? Updates to soft-touch materials across all trims. Traffic Jam Assist, Lane Change Assist, and Front Cross Traffic Alert are standard on the Platinum trim, available through Advanced Technology Package on Limited Trim. What we think. Given its unusual high-riding full-size sedan form factor, you won't be blamed for wondering how the Crown makes sense. We think it has a certain outlier charm that could appeal to shoppers with SUV fatigue. The hybrid AWD is quick enough for everyday needs, and its body seems unmoved by chassis weight transfer around corners. However, we hesitate to call the Crown sporty. Its purpose is more comfort-oriented, providing a smooth, quiet ride with little drama. A Platinum model we tested with adaptive suspension rode smoother than a less expensive limited model. Wider tires could enliven performance, but that's not really the Crown's modus operandi. Returning excellent fuel economy is, ingress and egress are easy, compact SUV-like, really. The 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster and same-size central touchscreen are also perfect for this tech-forward cabin. But its trunk is on the small side, and like the only sedans left in the class, it has a low ceiling. Additionally, lower trims provide better feature-per-dollar value. There's no denying the crown is a boundary-pushing odd duck. The real question might be if there are enough SUV defectors out there to buy them. Performance and MPGs. Every 2024 crown is a hybrid and offers AWD, but powertrains and outputs depend on trim level. XLE and Limited models feature a 2.5-liter non-turbocharged inline-4, front and rear electric motors, and CVT automatic, with total system output rated at 236 horsepower. Crowns with this setup return better fuel economy. 42.41ths mile per gallon city slash highway. For more grunt, there's the Crown Platinum. It gets a 2.4-liter turbo four-cylinder, electric motors, and a six-speed automatic transmission. Toyota pegs its output at 340 combined HP, but the trade-off is diminished fuel economy. Fuel economy for this model comes in at 2932 MPG city slash highway. A crown we tested with the base engine made the sprint to 60 miles per hour in 7.1 seconds. The more powerful 2023 Crown Platinum accomplished the same run in 5.7 seconds. Crown abroad. The sedan that Americans get is just one of four different crown body styles Toyota produces for Japan and other markets. The U.S. version is known as the crossover type abroad, and there's a separate crown sedan that looks more like a next-generation Avalon. The crown sport looks like the variant that should have the crossover name, and the crown estate is a full-on boxy-bodied SUV. Sport and estate types are offered as plug-in hybrids, in addition to hybrids, and the Crown Sedan is available as a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. Safety Features Version 3.0 of Toyota's Safety Sense suite of driver assistance features is standard on the 2024 Crown. It consists of automatic emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, a lane-keeping system with lane centering, automatic high beams, and traffic sign recognition. Blind spot monitoring and rear cross-traffic monitoring are also standard. More sophisticated parking sensors are unlocked on the limited trim, and Platinum models get a 360-degree camera and advanced park hands-free parking. Cargo space and interior room. For a full-size sedan, the 2024 Crown offers almost the exact same legroom and cargo space as the mid-size 2023 Camry. Against class rivals, front legroom compares favorably to the Volkswagen Art Eon, but that's the Crown's only space advantage. In our reviews, we've noted the Crown's cabin feels quite snug.